This is our monthly news report. We still don't have a name. Why haven't you given us names? We're nameless. <laughs> Give us a name. Okay, really quick. We're going to go through monthly activities, what's coming up, what you should prepare for. So we're just going to go through what's coming up and what has happened. I'm Cadet Major Elizabeth Luce, and I'm currently the State S5, which is a public affairs officer. And I'm here today to announce that we have a brand new online store that you can buy any of the pictures from the XTC. This website is called Smug Mug, and it holds all of the pictures from the XTC and the events that are to come. Also, any of the proceeds will go right back to the California Cadet Corps. If you would like any team or individual pictures from the XTC or the events leading forward, hit the link down below and you will be able to access them. Until next time, essay on. So recently we just had our XCC event. It was really successful. We had 500 plus cadets at Camp Slow, which is insane, more than we have ever had at summer camp. We're yeah. super excited with seeing how great of a success XTC was to see drill competition and IMA growing. Um, summer camp, that's the big event. So if you liked what you saw at XTC, make sure you sign up for summer camp and tell your friends about it. You leaders out there, come step up and come fill in a position. Yes. OCS, NCO, we need leaders. Send in your 30 second video submissions. We're nosy, we wanna see what you guys are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Send videos of your brigade in action, anything, events. We wanna shout out OMI for that video that they sent in of their OCS NCO course. That's really exciting to see how schools are developing their leaders and how brigades are working towards state level leadership. Summer camp, as we had mentioned, it's right around the corner. I know we're thinking it's all the way in June, but application starts January. So start thinking about what you wanna do. And if you're gonna apply for that leadership position, start thinking now of how you're gonna do that application because it's coming out soon enough. Make sure you guys are following all of our socials, especially on Instagram. We will be having monthly segments where you guys get to directly talk to our Command Sergeant Major Nichols and ask her questions about anything. So if you have that NCO question that you want to throw at her, make sure you check our, our social media and be active on there. Um, with that being said, last month we did ask leadership if you have any stories you want to share, send it to our emails. Our emails will be included in the description box and in the video. So send us your leadership stories, some challenges that you faced or whatnot. We want to hear you guys' side of the story as far as leadership and your struggles, everyone can relate to them. What's the TCO? We have a nice little story to say today. <laughs> so our conversation for the struggles of leadership will have to be with something that we saw at XTC. And we see it continuously in every event, every leader goes through it. Um, we don't put enough emphasis as to what we do on our downtime as leadership because sometimes it is sitting around and waiting. Um, the thing is with downtime, if you find yourself with downtime and just roaming around, checking up on what everyone's doing, then you're wrong. Okay. Doing your downtime matters. You have to be productive when you have that free time. Even as CEO, I am constantly mm -hmm. trying to think of how are we going to improve cadet corps? How are we going to improve the NCO corps? How are we going to improve this school that never participates? You know, you are always thinking of ways to motivate. There, you shouldn't ever find yourself like with time to, to relax unless mm -hmm. it's like hygiene time or designated times where you are able to relax or get to do your own things. Yeah. Um, other than that, you should find yourself a job to get... <laughs> To keep you busy like yeah. if you finish with your task and you and you walk around just happen to be like hey like what are you guys doing like you're wrong mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to make sure you you try to keep yourself busy try to help out others um like a lot of the times you know the yes fours are always the ones that need help so be productive in all you do and it doesn't only go in your leadership position at cadet court it also goes to your daily life where you need to be productive. Instead of binge watching that Netflix <laughs> series, you should probably take out that textbook and study for that test ahead of time. We got to keep in mind that our objectives, our mission as the Cadet Corps is not to develop soldiers, but it's to develop well-rounded citizens. So go through that course again where it says the six objectives of the California Cadet Corps, and you'll see that what we want to do is make sure that you are 
meeting all your standards in all the areas of your life. So when you're bored at home, instead of playing that video game for another two hours, you know, Fortnite yeah. or whatever, <laughs> instead of doing that, go find out how you could change your community. What? Crazy, I know. But there are many opportunities for you to go out there and do certain things. And another objective is health and wellness of the cadet corps. I mean, if you find yourself a downtime, go to the gym. <laughs> go go run like a mile or two. You know, you got to get those eight hours of sleep. You got to drink that water. You have to stay healthy. It is a cadet corps objective. So if you're in leadership and you're not meeting that objective, ask yourself what's going on there. And that's the TXO. <laughs> <laughs> Done.